Welcome back to another video from Canadian Guns and Gear. Today's video is going to be a follow-up to the video I did the other day on the quote-unquote assault weapons ban that came into effect on May 1st. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some updates in the situation and also a couple things that you can do to help. So the first and most important piece of news there is, is there is currently an e-petition that was created today, and it's e-petition number 2574 in the House of Commons. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to it in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Now the thing with this petition is it is on the House of Commons website, which is the only official place for petitions to the Canadian government. Now when you click on the link in the description, it will bring you to the e-petition website and you can fill in your information and sign the petition. Now something to note, uh, we really do appreciate our fellow Americans and other people from other countries' support in this matter. However, with this petition, it is only open to residents and citizens of Canada. So you actually have to live in Canada in order to sign this one. Once you've signed it, you will have to provide an email address and in an email they will send you there will be a link just to confirm now because there has been so many signatures on this petition today it is actually taking quite a while to get that link in your email so just remember to check it periodically it can take a couple hours to actually get that link and don't forget to click it now speaking of that this petition was just created today and it's already at 36,129 signatures as of recording this video. So that's 36,000 signatures in just the first day. Now this petition is very similar to one that had been done in the past here recently, number 2341, and that one called for basically the same idea on the rights of firearms owners in Canada. Now that one got 175,000 signatures, and it was back in December and ended in February. Now, that one didn't seem to have an effect, but hopefully if we can get even more than that one with this new petition, especially with the changes that have been made, hopefully it can have some sort of an effect. Now, there may be some apathy to it, but it can't hurt. So go ahead and sign the petition. So the next thing I wanted to mention was the ridiculousness of this ordering council. Uh, people have had a little bit of time to actually comb through the different things that were listed in it as prohibited uh, weapons, and they found that there's actually an airsoft gun listed as a prohibited weapon in this order and council. As well, they accidentally put two websites, I believe one of them was AR15.com, into this uh, order and council, which is just ridiculous. It just goes to show that the creators of this order and council clearly have no idea what they're talking about. Now, another piece of big news is that one of the provisions inside of the Order and Council actually bans anything greater than 20 millimeters in bore diameter. Now, this isn't really important for most centerfire rifles, but it actually includes 12 and 10 gauge shotguns. So it looks like the Liberals inadvertently have made every 12 gauge and 10 gauge shotgun uh, with a removable choke prohibited at this point. Now, I don't think this is in their intention, but again, it just goes to show how ridiculous this order and council is and that the people writing these things have no sweet clue what the hell they're talking about. Now, there's one more important piece of information that I wanted to cover in this video, and that's with regards to anyone that owns any restricted, now prohibited firearms. So most likely what's going to happen is you're going to get a letter in the mail, and it's going to be a letter... It should be registered mail, and it's going to be revoking your registration certificate because your previously restricted firearm is now prohibited. Now, what this means is they're going to give you 30 days to turn in your firearm. Now, even though there is a two-year amnesty, once that happens, you only have 30 days. Now, it gives you very little option, but the one thing that you can do is you can file an appeal at your local court. Now what this will do is it will essentially stop that 30-day time frame until the appeal can be heard. Now most likely you're going to lose the appeal just by the nature of it. However, it does give you more time and the idea is that hopefully everybody that has a restricted now prohibited firearm and it was registered, we're going to bog down the court system and cause major delays because of this and it will hopefully buy everybody a lot more time. Now the end goal, like I've said before in my previous video, is going to be a change in government that will repeal this legislation. But in the meantime, this is somewhat of a stopgap. Now, when more information about this becomes available, I'm going to post that in a video and I'm going to do some research as well. And I hope to give everybody some clear instructions in a video form so that they can go ahead and do this when it comes time for that. 
Now, the one good thing we do have going for us in Canada is we do have a very strong firearms community. We need to all band together and fight this together. Otherwise, we're going to see things happen that we've seen in other countries, such as New Zealand and Australia and the UK. And we definitely don't want to see that. So we need to all get together and work towards the same goal. Whether you're a duck hunter, whether you're a goose hunter, whether you're a sports shooter, whether you own AR-15s, rifles, shotguns, it doesn't matter. We're all in this together. And when they get our quote-unquote assault weapons are not going to stop there they're going to keep going and they're going to take every single one away from everybody lastly i wanted to say thank you very much to everybody who has watched and commented and liked my previous video i've been trying to reply to every single comment that i can or at least give it a thumbs up and i'm going to keep putting videos out to hopefully give more information and spread the word so if you would like go ahead and subscribe so that you can get the video notifications uh, once i release them and once again, thank you very much for your support. Thanks for watching Canadian Guns and Gear.